Hi guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of November reading for you all. November 1st through the 15th reading for Capricorn. How are you all today? Hope everybody's doing great, feeling good, enjoying the fall weather. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. My thoughts and my prayers are still going out to everybody that's going through nonsense right now. Please stay safe, okay, you all? Well, take it. It keeps wanting to come out. Let's just go ahead and take it. sticking out. There we go. All right, you all, let's see what we got. The Chariot. It's a nice, bright, beautiful card, right? Moving forward. Five of Rods, which are Wands. King of Wands. King of Pentacles, Justice, and the Magician. You're clarifying. Five of Swords, Six of Cups. And Ten of Cups. Improving health. Success. That's nice. Opportunity beckons. And open up. Beckons has your name on it. It's knocking on your door. Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all. I have a feeling um, some of you guys are going through a little bit. Well, you know, the whole world's going through nonsense right now. It's not just you all. But here's the thing. You have two different fives. Five of rods, which are five of wands, is also like a, um, a tug-of-war match a little bit. It, show, it shows them that they're arm wrestling here, but you know, you're kind of teeter tottering or disagreeing, or maybe, um, maybe it's a friendly um, gesture, and maybe sometimes it's not so friendly. And then with this Five of Swords, I mean, 
that don't look friendly at all, right? So here's the thing with these two fives. It almost makes me feel like you guys are either being challenged in some ways. Um, sometimes it's, it's, a, because it's the people around you, possibly. Maybe it's the people at your work. Maybe it's your friends. Maybe it's your family. Um, maybe it's just the environment in general. Because let's face it, a lot of us are feeling a little uh, challenged, <laughs> a little challenged lately. I mean, that's a that's a simple, basic word, but I'll tell you what, it is true. So here's the thing. I think you guys are realizing at this point that if you are wanting or needing or looking for something new, then you you can make it happen. I have this magician here and the justice and the king of pentacles well this is you and your energy um, earth sign taurus virgo capricorn and then the justice and then the magician it's almost like if you all feel like that there's something um that's not fair something that's not just in your life i have a feeling it might be changing throughout the month of november I almost feel like that, you know, um, there may be some kind of decisions being made in your favor, whether it's a court case or a lawsuit, or maybe it's just laws or rules that's going to be um, changing at this time. I believe you guys are going to have a, a good feeling about something that may be changing in your favor. So that part is really good. Sometimes when I get the justice card, and I'm, I may as well just say it, I feel like it's it's kind of like a karma card too. You know, you know how um, how they say what comes around goes around karma. It's almost like if you've been good, you get good karma, and and if you've not been so good, then you might get a little uh, bite on your butt. Um, that's similar to how I'm feeling with this card right now. I'm feeling like there's going to be, with the justice, there's going to be, somebody might get uh, a little taste of their own medicine. Let's put it that way. That's a nice way to put it. So I think it's going to make you all feel good about a decision that's about to be made, um, whether it it whether it directly pertains to you or whether it's a, a bigger kind of a situation. I think you're going to be uh, happy with the outcome. With this magician, you all, you guys are realizing that whatever you guys are wanting or needing or wanting to change, you guys have the ability to do that. And with this magician, that's what you all are doing. You guys are thinking about, praying about, manifesting something in your mind. And let's say, okay, let's say it's regarding your, maybe it's regarding your family with this Ten of Cups. Maybe it's something regarding your job. Maybe it's even regarding your career or moving somewhere completely different. What you need to do, in my mind anyway, is just realize what it is that you're wanting to change and start applying yourself towards it. Start uh, putting your resumes in, for instance, if you're wanting a new job. Start looking to see what location maybe that you want to live in. Maybe you're wanting to get a new home and you've got to take steps to do that. So whatever it is that you guys are wanting to change, to manifest, and to start making it happen, start doing it because it's going to start improving your health and it's going to bring in success but a lot of you all especially with this chariot this is traveling for heaven's sakes i mean he's flying around i mean he's tickled as he can be so i have a feeling a lot of you are wanting to travel or are wanting to go somewhere different or move somewhere maybe it's even a vacation you all for some of you but i think for a lot of uh, people there needs to be a change of some sort and maybe if this chariot is not a physical moving somewhere different maybe it's moving to a new job moving towards a new career because <coughs> sorry excuse me because whatever this five of rods 
and whatever this five of swords is here let me show you this whatever these cards are these are not necessarily good these are people disagreeing with you arguing with you um, wanting things their way sometimes it's over jealousy sometimes it's over um, ego sometimes it's just a bunch of nonsense and you guys aren't going to put up with it and let's face it i don't blame you i mean i don't blame you a bit who wants to put up with that kind of nonsense and then when i get this six of cups you know sometimes this is you guys reminiscing about the past maybe someone is coming back from your past it could possibly be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius or maybe with that energy it could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn but whenever I see it, I you know, you're kind of like daydreamy, right? You're, you're looking back and you're thinking, ooh, maybe. And then I get the Ten of Cups right after it. So it does make me feel like that some of you all may be getting um, back in communications with someone from your past. Or maybe you're looking towards the future and daydreaming about the future. Either way it goes, I feel like this Ten of Cups is coming in in the nick of time and you guys are going to be absolutely thrilled with um, your family with your friendships with um, you know you want to celebrate with this is just a happy feeling good about life in itself and feeling good about the way that things are working out so whatever it is that is treating you like this or this I think that stuff is is coming to an end I think something's going to come in that's going to uh, perk you right up. I think that maybe it's going to be like a, a, a information or news or something to that extent and you guys are going to be like finally finally so I think this justice card is going to come in and, and really get you all excited this month also you all I see this opportunity beckons over here whenever if hold on I'm trying to say too many things let me go, let me go back if you guys are looking for a job and you do apply for one you may be pleasantly surprised that you may get more than one offer if you guys are wanting to switch careers at this time maybe you're even thinking about going back to school taking online classes things like that you may get that opportunity at this time if you guys are wanting to move out of a city possibly and move to the country and for some of you, maybe you're wanting to move to the city. Um, you may get an opportunity that is that has your name on it, that is, is really going to put you all in a better place, okay? I just want you all to realize that with your health improving and things opening up for you and new laws, new rules, new... Um, foundations I almost want to say your health is going to start improving dramatically and you know sometimes it's an actual illness or sickness with your health and sometimes it's just because we all go stir crazy a little bit right so I think that there's something coming in that's going to get you all excited and you're going to feel this success card coming in you're going to feel this ten of cups and you're you're going to have, be in your own little uh, space and your own peace of mind and honestly i believe a lot of you guys are considering moving or traveling or uh, doing something completely different with this chariot card and no matter what it is that you're wanting to change you guys can change it with this magician um, all you got to do is push yourself towards it and the next thing you know it's happening it's appearing right before your very eyes because you're doing it give me just a minute okay I'm gonna rearrange All right, you all, here's the thing. 
I get these two fives here, and both of these fives are more like, sometimes they're conflicts, sometimes they're um, struggles, sometimes they might be friendly, um, ego kind of tug of wars things. But either way it goes, I feel like that some of them are gonna are gonna end up in arguments or quarrels or disagreements. Um, and I believe you guys have about had it with something specific that's going on in your life. I think with this King of Pentacles, this is you and your energy, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and you guys are, are kind of standing back up to who you are and what you believe and what's important to you. With this King of Rods, I think that some of you all may be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, and I'm feeling like that this could be a loved one, a romantic partner, your spouse, or a family member, a mother-father figure, um, someone that's helping you possibly get something that is owed to you. Um, so for some of you, I believe it could be a court case. For some of you, it's just some kind of new uh, law, new rule, new information that's kind of going to get you all tickled a little bit. I do feel like, too, for some of you guys with the Six of Cups, it could be reminiscing about the past. So someone could be coming in from your past. Or maybe some of you guys are moving back to your hometown with the Six of Cups. Kind of like, you know, once you're... Once you um, graduate high school, you go off to college and you kind of move somewhere else maybe. Maybe it's time to go back to your hometown possibly. Or maybe this is you guys daydreaming about the future. Because here is what's the most important thing to you guys. Your family, your love, your friends. You just want to be happy. And I think you're about, you're about to get it. Because you're going to start manifesting. You have all these tools that you need. You have the cups, the wands, the swords, the pinnacles. Any and all tools that you need, you guys can start making things happen. All you got to do is push yourself forward, realize that you guys can make a difference, and the next thing you know, you're flying off. <laughs> you're moving towards something different. This gets me excited for you guys. So this could be an actual move somewhere different. This could be a job move, a career move. This could be um, all kinds of things moving towards something completely different. Maybe it's tr it's towards retirement. But I feel like you guys are raring and willing to go somewhere or do something different. And it's it might be time right now to start uh, thinking about this. Your health will start improving, I think. This, there's this open up over here too. So sometimes when you open up, you improve your health as well. You know, I mean, I guess that's, I'm not, I'm not suggesting a psychiatrist, but you know, when you go to a psychiatrist, when you open up, your health improves. And I'm not saying that for you all, but that's how I'm feeling. Sometimes if you open up to your friends, to your family, to your loved ones, and realize what's important, once you vent sometimes, that will improve your health faster than anything. And sometimes you may need to get their advice, um, listen to what they have to say, because I feel like there's an opportunity that's come, gonna come knocking on your door. Pay attention to your um, emails and text messages and things like that, excuse me. If you're looking for something like that, pay attention to that stuff, okay? Because you may get an opportunity that you just can't refuse. Here's the success card, you all. You've got this beautiful Ten of Cups. You're moving towards something that's important to you, and you're going to have success. So whatever it is that you guys are wanting to change, now might be the time to change it. Just saying. All right, Capricorn, this is a good reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed it today. This is your first half of November, November 1st through the 15th reading for Capricorn. Hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon.